Hello guys. Just in case you would love to fly X-Plane's default King RC90, but don't think you can't because of its bad handling, um, you might be interested in the following. Let me show you this and get inside the plane. Um, watch the displays. I can change the selected heading. Hallelujah. And what is more, I can even change the selected course um, all without having to go down here. Um, what is more, I can engage heading select or the nav button or the altitude button or even altitude select or the approach button or the indicated airspeed button or the vertical speed button all without having to go down here so I just created shortcuts um, that work just perfectly for those buttons um, just to show it again heading select works altitude hold works um, the nav button works, altitude select works, the approach button works, vertical speed works, um, the IAS button works, and these are the most important buttons that I assigned. And of course I want to show you the shortcut commands that you have to look up to actually um, find the right command, which you then can assign your own buttons to. Um, because unfortunately if you just hover over a button it will not tell you the right shortcut command. So let's get right into it. Um, this shortcut command, and please look only to the left side and disregard the button that I assigned uh, to it unless you want to use the same. Um, this shortcut command works for heading up and heading down. This one for course up and course down. Quite hard to find. Um, this one works for the heading select button. This one for the nav button. This one for the altitude hold button. This one for the altitude select button. This one for the approach button. This one um, for the indicated airspeed button. And this one for the vertical speed button. I hope this helps you um, to handle the plane much better than having to go down here or here. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.